Goodies here, coming fresh with the inspiration from the gym, yoga class, the epiphanies, they just keep on rolling in, man. Just blowing out the energy and creating space for more energy to just flow in. And that cycle is just ridiculous, alright? So I'm here to share it, because I, I gotta give it out and then I'll get more. So, what's up? I hope everyone's great. And basically I'm, t I'm talking about this class that I was just in and the way it can be related to life and to the whole world is that you gotta push yourself. Like, if you get up to a point of discomfort and your, your body and your mind react and say, ah, we're, we're approaching the border of the comfort zone there, easy, and oh wait, you passed it, there's some pain. Physical pain, mental anguish. Here it is. Come on back to what we're used to. Don't listen to that. Alright? If you got a dog that barks when it wants attention, you gonna give it attention? Alright, then it's gonna keep on barking. You don't want it to bark? You gotta ignore it. Now, obviously, you're saying, Jay. I don't want to hurt myself. These pain systems are in place to make sure we don't get hurt. Yeah. But they're overactive. This is a fact that we need to come to terms with. Um, we need to understand this about ourselves. They are overactive. You know? Uh, just like a lot of things our body does. From time to time, it's it just it gets used to things, and then it says, "I just want it like that." You know, I don't want it to change, and it'll throw pain out there because that's what it knows you'll respond to. But if it's a red flag, if it's for real, pain, pain, all right, heed. But discomfort, complaining. It doesn't feel awesome right now. Yo, that needs to be overlooked. As long as you're doing something that's good and it's been researched to be a good thing. You know, exercise, if your form is correct, push through that discomfort. And then the next time you get to that level, your body's gonna be like, Oh, I, well, yeah, we were here yesterday, it wasn't so bad. I, you know, and it'll keep going. Uh, diet, you're eating foods that are proven to be good. You know, there's research on them, they're not poisonous, they're not going to harm you. And your body may say, well, I don't really like it that much, it's not really all that delicious. It's a little, makes me feel a little weird eating this kale and these beans and these things, I don't know, I'm used to that McDonald's, or that cheesesteak, or that thing that was in the freezer that I just put in the microwave, that's what I'm used to, that's what I'm expecting, anything else I'm going to act a little weird around, it's going to feel a little funny too bad. Don't worry about that, alright? That's not real. That's gonna go away. If you give it attention, if you make it real, it'll be real, because you'll, you'll go by it. It ain't. Trust me. If you want to do better, see that. Be aware of that. Be aware of your response, your body's response, or your mind's response to that new thing. Be aware of it. Watch it. Rise up and see it fall. It'll pass. It'll be gone. And you push through that, Mm. That's where you break in to the new ground, to the new you, to the new experience. And if it's a good thing that you're giving yourself, you're trying to change and do something better that you weren't able to do before, or eat something better that you weren't able to eat before, good. It'll happen. Don't be discouraged by your body's immediate reaction. Don't feed into that. Don't give it power. Be silent. Breathe through it. Be aware. And it shall pass. And it'll unveil a new level that you have reached that you haven't been at before. And that's pretty awesome. It's Jay Coop. Good goodies. Signing off. Have a great day.